this is Joe with Condition Play Innovations VRA Systems. Today we're going to talk about how to load customizable content onto your Video VRA Pro. So this is content that is not distributed by us due to licensing issues, but you can download it for personal use. So what I've done is I've taken a micro SD or sometimes called a TF card, put it into my PC and I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm just going to go to new and folder. We're going to call this file Baby Shark. I also want to do another one. So I'm going to add another folder called Cocoa Melon. Okay, so, so we've created these two folders on the SD card. I'm going to click on the Baby Shark one. I'm going to drag a Baby Shark video from my desktop that I've downloaded just into the micro SD card. So that's loading right now. It, depending on the size of the file, it can take a little bit of time. We'll just let it load and do these one at a time. Next, I'm going to go back up and we've got this Coco Melon folder. I've got a few Coco Melon ones I want to test, so I'm going to grab a Bingo was his name -o video. Okay, that one's loaded. I'm going to grab an old McDonald one and load that in real quick. Okay, and one last one. I'm going to um, do a London Bridges one just for these examples here. Really, this could be any video you want. These are just a couple of examples that will show you how to load onto the video VRA. And then uh, in a moment, we'll show you how to actually insert the card into the video VRA and have them run in the application. Okay, those ones have loaded. So what I'm gonna do is just go up and go up one more. And then we're gonna go ahead and safely eject the SD card. In a moment, we'll show you how to do the insert this into the video VRA. Okay, we transferred those files over to the micro SD card and we've inserted the SD card into the video VRA Pro tablet. Now, if you insert it and it's the first time, it may ask you to grant access. If it does ask for that, go ahead and hit allow. And then what we're going to show you how to do is basically add the content that we put onto the SD card. So we're going to go up to the three dots at the top of the screen. We're going to click on App Configuration. Now I'm going to go ahead and this, this is a new installation, so I'm going to put it to a center on there. And I'm going to switch it to SD card so that we're pulling content from the SD card as opposed to the default app. So what I'm going to do is navigate to the hamburger menu, find the SD card titled VRA Pro. And for example, Baby Shark, I'm going to double click on that folder. It opens it up. We can see one video there. I'll hit select. It selects all the videos in that folder and it adds them to the rotation. I'm going to go ahead and do an, add another folder here. So this little folder with a plus sign, navigate back to the SD card. And we've got our Coco Melon folder. So I'm going to go ahead and double click in that. We've got three videos. I'll hit select. It adds all three of those. And you can see we've got Coco Melon there. While I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and add all the videos that come default on our SD card. So we've got one with a colored LED borders. There's about 50 videos in there. We're going to navigate to um, one with uh, white LED borders. We'll hit select there, and that adds all those. We're also going to add one that's titled Low Vision. So we actually have 182 videos that are default on the SD card. You can see all those are there. Now the Coco Melon Baby Shark we've added for this example. And if they are checked here, this actually includes them in the rotation through the application. So you'll be able to um, cycle through them with the remote control. I'm going to hit complete. And then since this is a new installation of an updated app, I'm going to go ahead and pair the remote. Um, if it was uh, just an update and as opposed to um, a fresh installation, it may likely hold on to the pairing. But I'm going to hit start pairing. And there's no MAC address right here on the screen, which means there's no remote paired. I'm going to push any of these buttons on the remote. If I push any button, you can see over here that a MAC address popped up on the screen. 
If this is a wireless remote with a MAC address, I'm going to go ahead and enable that because that enables distract mode. I'll hit pairing completed and we assign this to the center unit. So for example, if I push and hold that, you can see that the unit is responding each time I push the remote. Now on this circle, if I arrow up, you'll see at the bottom of the screen um, the title of the folder that's in there is temporary and it shows up. This one's a baby shark one. Let me arrow up again. This is Coco Melon. So each time you push it, it cycles through those through those folders that we or files that we added into the folder. So there were three videos there. And if I arrow up again, we've got the low vision one, the kind of the standard default content. We've got the colored LED borders, the white LED borders, and VRA with no borders there. The great news is with the VRA Pro from Condition Play Innovations is that there's almost no limit to the amount of videos and the type of videos we can have in the video VRA system. So for example here, if I push this, this one has LED borders. There's animals there. I can arrow up and we have the standard video with no borders. We can have a customizable ones like this baby shark video. Coco Melon, you can add your own nursery rhymes and things like that. Low Vision VRA, which are high contrast, solid colors for children with low vision. Or even colored LED borders. And so there's all kinds of uh, different type of stimuli that we can use with these pediatric patients to help get as many responses as possible and as much consistency for responses as we can. And that's how we do, we set up the uh, Video VRA Pro from Condition Play Innovations. If you would like to know more about our systems, feel free to visit our website at visualreinforcement.com or email us at sales at vrapro.com.